What's going on guys, Wesley here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the unlock all glitch in Modern Warfare 3. It's back, it's better than ever, and it's really easy to do, so let's get into it now. What this glitch will allow you to do is attach any attachments that are available in Modern Warfare 3 to your weapons without actually needing to get the level to unlock them. So normally you would obviously have to level up a gun to unlock other attachments and do challenges and things of that sort. You don't need to do anything in order to actually have these attachments now. So let's get into the actual glitch. The first thing that you're going to need to do is go ahead and find your way over to Warzone Private Match. Now, if you're on the Warzone menu, you can see you scroll all the way down. It's very easy to find, and you're going to go ahead and create a private match. But if you're in the main menu, what you need to do is scroll down until you get to Warzone, and then scroll to the right, and you will find it here towards the end of the menu. Now, once you've made it over to private match, what you want to do is click create private match and then just select BR solos. It really doesn't matter what type of Warzone game that you do. All that matters is that is a private Warzone match lobby. So the next step to this glitch is pretty simple. You want to go over to your created class menus and create a custom loadout. Now this loadout, the only thing that matters are your setups for your actual weapons. All right. So what we're going to be doing here, you're not going to actually unlock the weapon. So remember what I said earlier, if you don't have this weapon unlocked at all, or you know, you can have it at level one, you need the weapon actually unlocked to actually do this. So make sure that you have it unlocked. And then what you want to do is go into the gunsmith menu once you've applied it to your custom class and you want to just put on whatever attachments that you want. So set up these classes like, you know, Warzone metas that you see on Twitter. I would suggest you go check out Warzone meta. That's literally what it's called. They have like all of the best TTKs, you know, time to kill for Warzone weapons, things like that. Or if you just have a preferred multiplayer loadout or you want to test it out, you can obviously use these in gun range. You can see firing range at the bottom. So you can sit here and set up the perfect class that you love even for multiplayer. But anyway, so once you've actually set up that class, you can do it for the primary and the secondary mind you you again you just need these weapons unlocked once you've gotten that set up go ahead and completely leave the private lobby so once you've backed out of the private lobby completely you need to look for this what's hot menu it's at the top of the main menu that is where it's always located now what we can't use for this glitch is ranked play resurgence i had a few people on my last video say hey this isn't working anymore or they were having trouble finding this playlist it's at the main menu at the top and you have to use a battle royale slash resurgence non-ranked playlist so in other words this one right here this is battle royale preview that is not ranked and it is warzone that's it those are the two requirements that you need and you need to enter one of these lobbies in a very weird way so I went ahead and tried this a few times I actually got it first try earlier but what you want to do is click a and B or X and circle if you're on ps5 to enter and exit it real quick so you want to kind of tap tap it's that quick and what's gonna happen is you're actually gonna see this script bundle not defined so again you are selecting and then clicking back right after it's pretty quick try to just work on the timing it hundred percent works on console so before you comment hey this doesn't work Sometimes it takes me 30 tries. Sometimes it takes me one try. All right. So you, it's just a timing thing, I believe. But what's going to happen is you're actually going to be in a glitched war zone lobby. And when you go over to your creative class, it's going to be just like when you're in the private match, right? So you have your custom loadout right here. I called mine glitch four. You can see that I'm actually not supposed to have these. You can see it, you know, when I was in gunsmith right there, it said you need a particular level to unlock. That's not what private lobbies say, right? But it is giving me my private lobby um setup so what you want to do is you want to actually go into the gunsmith menu and at the bottom left you'll see save as a custom mod using your left trigger so go ahead and click left trigger and what you're going to be able to do is name this whatever you want i highly suggest that you be very organized with this because having access to all the attachments for every gun if you are a high level which a lot of you are this is just a brand new account for me so this is why i'm using the sva the default assault rifle that's available um you can actually do this with any weapon that you have unlocked like i said so once you actually have saved that as a custom mod, the last step to this glitch is you need to go back out to the main menu. Make sure it's the main menu, not the Warzone menu, and go over to multiplayer. Now, this is just for as an example, right? I didn't want anyone to get confused. I had set up my classes in Warzone private, right? Remember that. And then now I'm in multiplayer. I definitely should not have what I had in a private match in multiplayer. So I wanted to make sure that it like contrasted the most possible. So you can see here, you can actually see I, I got those little labels again because I'm in a normal multiplayer game and it's saying, hey, you should not have these or rather you can't set these, but it's already set. So what you want to do is go over to your custom mods by just selecting whatever weapon you save the custom mod for. And it should bring up this menu to either select the default 
or your custom mods. And what you want to do is go ahead and select whatever the newest custom mod that you saved is and bam, you can use this in any multiplayer lobby. It is super easy, but you can actually use this in all modes. So let me show you how you can apply those now. Now the Warzone menu is exactly the same as multiplayer, so I'm not going to go through that one because it's the exact same thing. You just apply the custom mod, but in Zombies, what you want to do is actually go over to your insured slot because obviously it's not a contraband weapon. You can actually assign it as an insured slot weapon. So you can actually go and see, hey, what is the gun with the most ammo or, or the best gun for Zombies, whatever you want to do, and you can actually assign that as your insured weapon. So that's it. That's the whole glitch, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys next time.